My name is Rose Hiskus and I'm here at the White Memorial Conservation Center. Uh, just completed a workshop on the Asian longhorn beetle and the damage it does to uh, maples and other trees in New England. Here are specimens of the Asian longhorn beetle. You can see the long antennae which give it its name. Uh, notice the black and white coloration, the alternating bands of color. Notice also the large size of the beetle. The females are up to an inch and a half in body length plus the antennae. Males are smaller, uh, have maybe an inch or so, but also the black and white spots. This is a beetle that the Chinese call the Starry Night Beetle. Think of patent leather shoes. Um, very smooth, shiny, and black. Adults of the beetle will feed on leaves. They like the veins of the leaf where there's a lot of sugar. So if you see leaves coming to the ground in late July, August with missing veins, uh, please give us a call. Adults will also eat young bark off the branches. On this piece of maple that I have, the larvae will first begin boring at the conducting tissue where the egg is laid right in a pit in the bark. They then proceed into the heartwood of the tree and cause the uh, tree to be like Swiss cheese, very structurally unsound. Uh, Worcester, Massachusetts had a snowstorm, ice storm, December 11 and 12, and many, many trees came down because they were weakened by the boring of the larvae of the Asian longhorn beetle. Exit holes, uh, you can usually fit your pen in, and if it goes in more than an inch, uh, it's likely this beetle. The egg pits here can be a rusty color, or last year's egg pits dull to a dark brown grayish color. Again, an exit hole, and you can see the pen has gone in a good two inches. If you think you see the Asian longhorn beetle in Connecticut, we ask that you call the Agricultural Experiment Station. Dr. Victoria Smith is our Deputy State Entomologist, and you can reach her at the following phone number, 203. 974-8474 and also we have set up an email address caes.stateentomologist.ct.gov and we would love to have you submit digital pictures, um, images of damage to trees, images of insects you have found, add a ruler so that we can get a, an idea of the size. And so call or email us, let us know. This beetle prefers maple trees, but it will also eat elm, willow, horse chestnut. And so uh, private citizens have found this beetle in Toronto, Chicago, Worcester, Massachusetts. So we'd appreciate all the eyes we can get to be looking at Connecticut's trees and uh, reporting to us any suspicious finds. Thank you.